We have a massive report saying that the Pittsburgh Penguins and Sidney Crosby are very close to signing an extension. Plus, one scout says that Frazier Minton needs more time before transitioning to the NHL. And I'm going to break all that stuff down for you coming up on this episode of Hatrick HQ. But first, got to say, shout out to everybody for getting us to 4,000 subscribers. And if you want to stay up to date on everything that's to come this offseason, make sure you're down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's jump right into the first first topic of the video today, which is Crosby extension coming. And yes, this is very exciting news. Obviously, Sid the Kid isn't really the kid anymore. He's getting up there now. I believe at the start of the season, he will be 37 or close to 37. But it is always great to hear that he still has a couple of more years into him. And that he will be staying in Pittsburgh. He'll be a one-team guy. I think that's awesome for Sidney Crosby. And we actually got this report from The Athletic reporter uh, Rob Rossi where he said the team and the player are confident a deal will be agreed upon and formalized very soon and obviously this is huge for Pittsburgh because we had you know a lot of people saying that potentially Crosby would drift out in his final years <laughs> a lot of reports saying to the Leafs there was a lot of different teams involved here that might have got Sidney Crosby if he had hit the open market next offseason but now we're hearing it looking looking like an extension is coming through and that Sidney Crosby will retire as a Pittsburgh Penguin, which I think is the best is the best option. I think he's wanted to retire in Pittsburgh. Obviously, he won three Stanley Cups for the city. This guy, you know, he's just amazing out there for this team. I mean, if we just look at his, you know, awards over the years, I mean, there's too many to go through. Like I said, he had three Stanley Cups, two Conn Smites, and he had the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, Rocket Richard. He had so many uh, accolades throughout his career. Obviously, Sidney Crosby is going to go down as one of the greatest of this generation. Uh, if not, if he isn't already... I mean, if we look at his stats, I mean, this guy at 36 years old last season still went out and played unreal. 82 games, Warrior playing all 82 with 42 goals, 52 assists for 94 points, uh, and he had 278 shots uh, on net as well, uh, while still putting up 20 minutes time on ice. And yes, the Pittsburgh team right now isn't going isn't looking the best in my opinion I you know they're losing Gensel which was a big uh guy they got and, and you know that kind of sucks because they don't have that full offensive powerhouse anymore but as long as you got Crosby and Malkin on your team yes these guys are 36 37 years old you still have a chance and when I'm looking at um you know, Crosby's extension here. I don't think it's going to be as much as what he's making now. I believe right now his contract's at about 8.7 million AAV. And at 37 years old, almost, um, you know, you probably see his extension maybe come in for two, maybe three seasons, play till he's 40 and then hang up the skates. And, you know, I think he will take a little bit of a discount here. I don't think we'll see him up in the $8.7 million range. But, you know, with the stats, the stats don't lie. He does deserve to be up in this uh, range for sure. But I think Crosby wants to win one more before he retires. And the way to do that is to take a little bit of a cut so you can bring some more guys in here to help this team get back to the pinnacle of the NHL and win the Stanley Cup. And then we look at a guy like Malkin, who he has two years left on his deal this year and next year, which would put him at about 39, maybe 40. So he's probably looking to retire at the end of this contract, maybe move back uh, to Europe and play for a team over there like we've seen Yarmer Yager do at the end of his career. So uh, that could be, uh, you know, these guys, they want one more. They That's what they want. That's what this team wants. That's what this organization wants. And it's on Kyle Dubas to make this happen. They thought they were going to do it by bringing in Jake Gensel. Ultimately, it didn't happen, but you know, with the cap they have right now, taking a little bit of a cut for Crosby could definitely help them out. And I think we're one big trade or one big signing away here from seeing Pittsburgh propelled back up into, you know, playoff contention, back into Stanley Cup contention. And I would love to see Crosby win one more before he hangs up the skates. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Are you excited that Crosby's staying in Pittsburgh or would you want to see him end up in Toronto for his last years? Let me know down below in the comment section. We're going to get 
into the second topic of the deal today, which is Frazier Minton needs more time. And yes, after, you know, we're into Leafs development camp now after the first couple of days, uh, and we've seen some reports come out that Frazier Minton may need some more time here in, you know, possibly the AHL or, or the juniors to be that NHL guy for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And this is coming from friend of the show, Kyle Cushman here, uh, where he had to say, Frazier Minton remains sturdy, two-way presence, but dynamic offensive qualities are still lacking. I think it's vital for his development to get touches and offensive opportunity in the AHL, and that won't... Uh, and that he won't, if he makes the NHL, obviously he's going to get more chances, more offensive, um, you know, touches, like Kyle Cushman says here, in a lower league like the AHL, which, you know, the AHL is still a great league, don't get me wrong about that, but, you know, he will get more opportunity down there than he will playing, say, third, fourth line with the Toronto Maple Leafs, you know, he's going to be getting, what, 16 minutes time on ice, well, down in the AHL, he's probably a top second line guy where he could be getting 20 minutes of ice a night, so, you know, I think, Kyle Cushman is right on the money here. I think this is perfect. We've seen from uh, Cushman as well as talking about uh, Easton Cowan where he said this guy has been the highlight of the development camp so far. So it's looking like Easton Cowan is a little bit ahead of Fraser Minton here. But nonetheless, Fraser Minton uh, here saying, you know, if he gets some time in the AHL, he's most likely to come up and, and just be better uh, in the Toronto Maple Leafs team if he plays some time in the AHL, and I think that's perfect for this guy's development, because obviously we know Frazier Minton, he's a good defensive guy, he's got that side of his game kind of wrapped up, but he does need to get uh, after it a little bit more on the offensive side, not saying that his offense is lacking, because I think this guy is phenomenal, I think he has great offensive uh, capabilities, but when you're transitioning from the juniors to the NHL, it's a massive jump, so he needs to Get some time in the AHL here. Play first, second line with, you know, some veteran guys down there or, or younger guys down there that are still trying to make that jump to the NHL as well. And I think that will very, uh, help Frazier Mitten out a, a lot. As we've seen him in that five games last season, he did look good, no doubt about it. But if he had more time to play against grown men, as people like to say, I think his game will develop extremely more, and we'll see a lot more come out of, of Frazier Minton in the AHL, and then that, that leaves him, you know, in the middle of the season, if the Leaf, one of the Leafs centers goes down with injury, Frazier Minton can get that call, he can jump up and, and play with this Leafs team, and, you know, once he's up there, and if he's showing that he deserves a spot on this team, then we may never see him go back down, so I think this is a perfect report from Carl Cushman saying, you know, that he needs some more time, and that's not knocking at Frazier Mitten at all, because not everybody can make that jump from juniors to the NHL uh, right away, so hearing that he needs more time just to work on the little bits of his game that needs a little bit work of work on is definitely huge, and Frazier Mitten, man, he has a high ceiling, and seeing him in the AHL, I think we'll, we'll get to see the, the type of player he's going to be in the AHL, and that's very exciting for Marley's fans and Leafs fans as well, but like I said, Frazier Mitten, uh, he's, he's going to be good, he's going to be a, a Leafs guy, you know he is, unless he gets traded, which I don't think will happen, but uh, I think he's going to be a part of this Leafs team in the future, you know, he just needs, you know, some more time, I mean, he's still young, not everybody, like I said, can make that jump, so hopefully we'll get to see him in the AHL, get to see him develop over the course of half a season and maybe he gets called up to play in, in the HL. I, I would love to see that but I want to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section what do you think do you think Frazier Mitten needs more time would you like to see him right away love to hear your guys thoughts on that down below in the comment section we're gonna get into everybody's favorite topic here which is comment of the day and the comment of the day today goes to spin cat he says congrats on 4k fellas shout out to you spin cat really love seeing your comment there and i gotta give a huge shout out to everybody watching this video i mean I mean, you told us a year ago that me and Mark would be here at 4,000 subscribers almost a year later. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't believe it. I mean, a huge shout-out goes to you guys for, you know, supporting us throughout this year, watching our videos, liking, commenting. It means a lot to us, and you guys are the reason we put these videos out. We love sharing our knowledge, sharing the news with you guys, and appreciate you guys showing the love back by getting us to 4,000 subscribers. So what's next? I guess 5K is next. So make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. It pushes these videos out to all the hockey fans 
on YouTube. Also, comment on the video. You might be featured on the next comp of the day, just like our friend Spin Cat was today. And like I said, subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out a video Mark did earlier today, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, KC. Keep your stick on the ice.